the GCARB meeting has in many respects been very successful. It's uh, brought together all the stakeholders, uh, not just the researchers, not just the policy makers, not just the politicians, not just the extension people, not just national governments and the private sector, but also the farmers themselves and the farmer organizations, farmer associations, cooperatives, and the NGOs that are very active in this field. We need, first of all, much better diagnostics. Uh, we know generally what the barriers are. Um, they are lack of markets, lack of roads, lack of market information, lack of suitable seeds and fertilizers, lack of input markets, uh, lack of water, and so on. But those barriers change from place to place. They tend to be a different set of barriers in Mali from what they are in Malawi, for example. The second is that we then need to make quite sure that both uh, within countries and in the international community that we're doing the research, both natural research and social research, financial research, that will give us the answers that I've just described as being needed for each intervention. And then the third barrier is ensuring that if that works on a local scale, how do you make sure it gets up to a much bigger scale? How do you scale it up to the national level? How do you take success in a project or a small district and translate that into something bigger? There are many things that are needed to make sure that uh, those three challenges are met. We need uh, better organizations and institutes, both in developing countries and in uh, aid countries and donor countries, that can address those particular challenges. That's the first thing. Secondly, we need to make sure that the private sector is much more involved than it has been. Uh, I often say that if you go anywhere in Africa, you can always get a Coca-Cola bottle or a Pepsi-Cola bottle, but you can't get uh, a bag of seed or a bag of fertilizer. The private sector has got the skills and the capacity and often the equipment and the research to make things happen. So what we're really looking for are public-private partnerships. Uh, partnerships which bring together uh, government and other public money, bring together the private sector, and in many cases also bring local communities.